Do I buy country life but and support our hard-working British dairy farmers? No, it's their career choice. You did ads for the British Butter Council. Uh, no. Yes, you I did. No, yes. I did yes. not. Yes, no, I did not. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> John Lydon, the punk icon known as Johnny Rotten, gathered criticism after appearing in two commercials for a British water company. It ended up that way. Uh, what I did was I did adverts for uh, British Butter, a company called Country Life, and, uh, and it took over. The adverts had such a major impact on, on, the, on the butter market. I created in England Butter Wars. OK, pass me the butter then. All right, man. I can't tell the difference. Tell me about it. Good. And that's how you make fairy cakes. Do I buy Country Life butter because it's pretty? I buy Country Life because I love the taste of me crumpets. Thank you, farmer's wife. Do I buy Country Life because I yearn for the British countryside? You used to stand for so much more. You used to stand for anarchy in the UK, and then Man, suddenly... Conan, if you butter. eat that much butter, you're not standing any longer. However, what is less known is that the proceeds from these ventures were used to reunite this band nearly 20 years after their disbandment. All right, what, what the, did you do This that? butter campaign, what it did was, it, it, it wasn't an enormous amount of, of, of cash, but it was absolutely sufficient for us to get public image back started so I could raise the money, right? So every penny of that went, to st went back into Public Image Limited, probably the best band in the world. <laughs> After the Sex Pistols, Public Image, for instance, was uh, I'd raise the money myself. Um, and so I'd be the one like uh, paying the wages, paying the equipment, renting the halls, etc., etc. And that's a really difficult thing to do. But if you love what you're doing, you do it. And Butter helped us to do that. That was very, very important because the money wasn't coming from anywhere else. So, record industry, two fingers, you know, Butter. <laughs> Are you going to be doing more of that? Yeah, Tampax next. Next, right. Now, stop. It's well known that John immediately formed Public Image after the breakup of the Sex Pistols in 1978. I got back to London and I wanted immediately to start a new band and one that would approach it without that media mockery attached. So I used the term Public Image Limited and Public Image was a book written by Muriel Spark. Then it's, it's about that media side of things can lead to death and destruction. John reunited with his childhood friend, Ja Wobble, and the former guitarist of The Clash, Keith Levine, placed a net for a drummer, and off they went. Let's act for the nice people. phone call from John at home saying we were like, come over here, do you want to be in a band? So I was, wow, it's fantastic, you know. Keith Levine, I thought he was the best thing in the clash. When the pistols finally fell apart, it was uh, automatic. Let's do it. And I knew Wobble, and they said we want to use Wobble. Wow, you know, what a guitarist. So we managed to scrape and get together some pennies. Well, I had to, because nobody else had any money. Then started rehearsing and the songs just flowed. Hey, 
The band underwent two car incarnations. They achieved three major hits. Public Image, Not a Love Song, and Rise. One of the major challenges for Public Image was the media insistence on only talking to Johnny about the Sex Pistols. Sex Pistols, one of the world's most notorious bands ever, and the lead singer John Lydon, aka Johnny Rotten. Drop the word sordid, there's nothing like that about my history. And secondly, there's two bands that I've been in, and you've missed the most important, which is Public yeah, Image. Yeah, I, I know, I know. But so people that, mostly know you for the Sex Pistols, though. Let's well, they will if you just carry on ignoring the most poignant part. I'm glad that was such an I'm important glad part of your And I'm here to remind you. In addition to Punk's difficulty to understand the new sound that Rotten and his bandmates were presenting. When you were with the Sex Pistols, Johnny. I don't want to talk about the past. I want to go on. We talked to some people who are still very much into punk and what it's all about. Just have a look and at this. Nothing to do with the Pistols or Johnny Rotten or anything. I think it was the best thing the Pistols ever done, sucking Johnny Rotten. Because I think Public Image are the worst band that ever came about, you know what I mean? I think Johnny Rotten is finished. There you are. He's an old man. Well, it sounds like we've heard this story before. Really? Um, Would you like to tell me where? Good night. Good night. Want continue? Well, that's up to you entirely. Uh, do you all follow the leader? No, go on, ask yeah, there ain't no leader. Well, no. all right. I thought, we'll that, I thought that was small, the point of having four people. You small, asked just me and him, didn't you? To do all right, an come on, the know? rest of the band. How oh, why difficult don't you try answering an intelligent question? Try and think of one. Tell you if what. you've never asked one in your life. Let's forget about it all. Right. Yeah, I think you oh, should. No, 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 that is total cop-out. Cop-out. <laughs> Wobbles contributed very, very well, but he took more than he gave. So there might have been some concerns like, why, why aren't we all rich? We're doing all these shows. Uh, we came back to New York and we gave, you know, half of that to the studio. And now there's $3,000 left. So yeah, you can have $500 each or something. It all comes down to the money, and uh, there really wasn't the money there. I, I couldn't afford to keep them in, in regular wages, and that led to all kinds of problems, because I, I ultimately was paying for everything. Went to America, toured America, and then came back and uh, went to the house. I knew there was money and cash in a shoebox. That's it, now I'm done, and I'm taking the box of cash with me, so I took up shoe box full of cash and went back off to America on holiday. But hired a Thunderbird car, or Mag. He's such a used car salesman. He's so prone to doing those what we call shifty maneuvers. It's a streety kind of behavior. And it's, it's the kind of behavior that doesn't belong in a band. When I left, I said to him, well, I'm gonna leave. Bye, fucking bye. <laughs> See you later. sometimes come in in a great mood, play something that was brilliant, and then disappear. You know, it was pretty well known that, that Keith was a little unwell, shall we say. What you can compare it to anything. Yeah, yes, you can. Would you? Um, it's going to be better. In what way? Well, it's like, um, it's one album more than we've done before. So it's got everything we've done on those last ones, plus us now. But here's the thing with Keith, this alleged genius. My God, many of the time, it was murder trying to deal with what, what he was coming up with in, in, in the studio, because he was so off the mark. We were offered 15 shows in Japan. If anybody is found with drugs, 
not only do you not get paid for your tour, you're liable for what the promoter thinks he might have made. So, of course, we start looking down the barrel of a gun of taking Keith. Keith showed up with his attorney. What is this, the fucking Eagles? He made the sensible decision. Bye-bye. Pantos coming up with Australia. Uh, I don't want to let you down, but I just want to let you know I'm going to be leaving at the end of it. I mean, I'd written all most of the songs before I went into the studio, so I knew exactly what I wanted. Uh, so I just set about getting the musicians that would do the job best. Went out to the pub, drank some beer, decided we'd be a band. It's constantly changing, and it has to. It's uh, it's experimental without being arty-farty about it. It's not designer theatre. It's as it happens. It's a quite natural occurrence. There was a void at some point um, in the public creative space. Did you, did you feel a void? Uh, no, that's when the record companies managed to make me bankrupt. <laughs> and that course stifled a lot of activity. And uh, it was such a financial hole they put me into that um, I was in a, a form of uh, semi-retirement, really. Uh, when a record company kind of rescinds on the borrowing process, uh, you find yourself very quickly in a serious financial hole. And when they don't help you to crawl out of that hole by limiting the amount of records they put in the stores, so you, you can't possibly make up the, uh, uh, the debt through sales, it's, uh, it's a serious problem. <laughs> One of the other factors that helped John get the new album recorded and released and enough money to fund his touring schedule was a recent UK commercial deal with Country Life Butter, which helped kickstart the reformation of Public Image Limited. yippee i -yo. From the From the second we met them, we sat down. They never lied to us, they never cheated, they never made anything difficult, they never set up any barriers or opposing forces or ideologies upon us. I hope and heartedly walked into that campaign of selling British butter to British people. But at the money that came from it, not a huge 
astronomical amount, not by any means, but that was enough we could start to rehearse. We could raise such a thing called wages, monthly allowances, pay for a road crew, hire equipment, rent a van, travel to a gig, book a gig, play a gig, and start earning. And here we are with our own label, our own form of music. We still stand true to the very same principles that public image tell it like it is, live the lifestyle, and don't do anything to hurt anyone. And you hear the police siren in the distance. They're playing my tune. <laughs> Welcome to Pill. 